Hello, my name is Ken Petroff, Power Transformer Product Manager at the Valley Forge Factory for Megger. I'm here today to show you just how easy it is to connect and control your onload tap changer. I'll always refer to your wiring diagrams when connecting to your tap changer. Here we have a transformer that we have in the back that we do a lot of training, a lot of testing on. We offer a few different kind of connectors for connecting to the tap changer. Today I have chosen the spade lug connectors. Before you attempt to do any connection, always make sure your power is turned off. Keep it safe before you go ahead and connect. I've cheated already and connected since we've done this a few times before. The first device that I'll be showing is our remote tap controller. Uh, this is a simple switch device that will allow us to control the tap changer. So first thing I'm going to do is connect the three leads, uh, one for raise, one for common, and one for lower. Uh, now I'm going to turn on the power to the tap changer and show you it in operation with this here. So with the remote tap changer, you'll see that you have the up and down, which corresponds to raise and lower. So if I press the up button, you'll see that it changes the tap towards the raise position. If I press the down button, it will change it towards the lower position. This tap changer does require a continuous pulse to change the tap, so if you were to only actuate it a little bit, not going to go all the way, you must press it down and wait for it to complete the tap change. So very similar to the standalone remote tap changer, we have the TTRU3 tap changer cable, which uses the same lower, common, and raised connections, but then just a different connector right to the device itself. So now we have the remote tap changer cable connected to the TTRU3, and we're ready to change the tap. So we'll press the lower button, and we'll see that the tap will go lower. And likewise, we press the up button, and the tap will raise. And that's it.